What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. So today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn. Issue number 16, this is Spawn's brutal retaliation and Jason Wynn's transformation into anti-Spawn. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So we begin this issue in Simmonsville where these two volunteers are walking around they compare this place Simmonsville like Disneyland. Why do they compare it like Disneyland? Because according to them nothing around this place makes sense like there's a church near the water slide and a factory in the middle of a park but it just doesn't make sense to them but they're all geared up and ready to shoot something. So now that there's something incoming something emerges from the ground and guess what in Simmonsville they're in their own little piece of hell on earth these violators emerge from the ground and they go to work on them but we all know that these violators are going to go to work on these brothers right here so the deal with Simmonsville is it happened over five years ago Jason Wynn explains this to Majorville it was a routine ground a bomb test that happened in Nevada they opened a hole into what they thought was another dimension and that other dimension turned out to be hell so they stumbled onto a doorway to hell. So they sent in an armed task force and they were never seen again. But one thing they did find out though is that hell is composed of a substance called psychoplasm. And psychoplasm is a material of a substance that it's unknown in the physical world. But whatever you're thinking of, that's what psychoplasm does. Whatever you're thinking of, whatever you desire or your fear, psychoplasm becomes that very thing. Think of like Pennywise and it manifesting your fears, but it's psychoplasm without the freaking clown doing his thing. Jason Wing preaches to Majorville, just imagine what it would mean to the US military if they possess psychoplasm and they're able to gain control of such substance to their enemies, which brings Jason Wynn to Al Simmons. He talks about Al Simmons to Major Val that Simmons was a good man, one of their best soldiers that he's ever trained, but he had to expend him because he's gotten soft. And Jason Wynn continues to tell Major Val that the presences in hell, that he contacted one of the presences and made a deal with it. The deal was in exchange for Simmons, hell will give Wynn access to the psychoplasm. So the town you're looking at, Major Val, the two unfortunate volunteers are currently facing their worst fears right now and it's entirely out of psychoplasm so when they sent Simmons to hell they stole his memories and those memories are acted upon raw psychoplasm created Simmonsville that's what happened so a fake town built from the jumble of one man's recollections that's Simmons so this is where they've been conducting their research major that's what Jason would continue telling major Val that this is what you want to see so are you interested and Major Val's like, man, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. I can't deny it with my own eyes what I saw, but and as all this blood is splurting out from the chimney, I don't know if I'm able to take this up to the board. So Jason Wynn's like, look, I know it's a little overwhelming. I can understand that. So I want to do my workout. And when I'm done in an hour or two, let's reconjoin with this and see what you come to. Does that sound good? Major Val agrees. So cut to New York City, Spawn begins questions, and with all these questions, there's an answer, but with those answers begets more questions. Things used to make sense to Al, but now they're just getting crazier, like plots, deals, heaven and hell, angels and demons running loose on the streets of New York, and who is he? He asked himself who is he? He was once Al Simmons, but he got shafted and got sent straight to hell after he got assassinated. He made a deal with the devil and he got shafted all over again. Talk about on both ends. You getting it in, bro, in the wrong kind of way. Story of his freaking life. And now the devil gave him a soul and he gave him a whole west of grief and pain. And now he's like feeling like he's some kind of undead freak with the face like a stale pizza and the memory that got shot straight to hell. So he's finding out more things every day. And that's Al Simmons talking in his monologue. But he still doesn't know what really happened or who he really is. Al Simmons is dead. Yes, Chapel pulled the trigger, but who in the heck gave him the order to do so? Who set Al up? Who sent him to hell? And that's the questions Al Simmons is asking. And on top of that, if he's dead, how come he has a body? Since he did die, I mean, guys don't have bodies. The bodies are in the grave, right? And if I'm here, what did they bury in Al Simmons' grave? So there's only one way for him to find all that out, but first, 
he needs to let off a little steam. And that steam comes in the form of one of his comrades in the alleyways about to get burnt alive by these guys. They're claim they're concerned citizens trying to do something about the homeless problem, so they call it a burn a bum scheme, don't we? And his partner's like, yeah, that's right, we gonna burn him. So get ready to burn in hell, says one of the guys, and spawns like hell, approaching right behind him. You really want to talk about hell right now? Then let's talk. And these guys are like, geez, guys, you're, you're the spawn dude. You spooked me. And Spawn just comes in flex. So Spawn's like, yeah, you heard him, Bernie. Go ahead, blast me away like your boy said. So Spawn grabs his hand and just squeezes it so freaking hard that this guy just vomits on the ground and the other guy gets knocked sent back and spawn is pissed like you know what you think i need powers to deal with scum like you do you well it was just a joke we're not gonna torture the guy we're just having some fun spawn is pissed but he's taking out his aggression on them because he's trying to find out some answers on him so after all this is done Spawn tells him, look, man, I'm sorry about all that. I was just feeling pissed. And the guy's like, it's all good. And Spawn leaves because he has to dig up his grave. And he tells the guy, look, if anyone comes looking for me, tell them I've gone to dig up an old friend. So not far away in Midtown Manhattan in a mirror world building with no name and no number to it, it's Terrain Affairs. And this is our headquarters. And Gabriel receives a call from Control talking about Spawn, who defeated Angela recently. So headquarters tells him, well, this Spawn is so special and dangerous. That's what special means. They've been empowered to create their own soldier to destroy Spawn. The balance of power must be seriously compromised if someone's prepared to intervene so directly with the affairs of Earth. Gabriel is just like, let's just hope our orbital angel station is up and running. And Michaela, we got some work to do. So the situation as it stands, they have full authority to empower a human agent to destroy the hell spawn. So the station gets ready and these orbital angels begin the procedure and they make contact with the avenging angel of the fifth heaven and arrange for a transfer of elemental fire. So they arrange for a soldier and fearful times calls for fearful measures. And they already hand selected a human that has the strength to bear the elemental fire and the subject has already been selected and the guy says we're gonna bring him up right now who is this guy they're talking about well it's none other than Jason Wynn who's sparring with these ninjas who are also his employees and he gets pissed because he takes them out too easily look man whatever they're paying you guys it's too much you fight like little freaking girls and if I was an enemy you'd be dead right now and also you're out of a job so the orbital angel activates the transference Jason Wynn goes up he gets beamed up and he asks how did I get here who the hell are you people are you his people meaning do they serve Malboja and they clearly indicate nah bruh we don't serve no Malboja we are the servants of a higher power and you will be our servant when we're done with you and Jason was like no way you don't know who I am and the burning sensation begins and he starts his transformation so we go to Al Simmons grave where well, he goes to his own grave to see what this is all about he pulls back the lid of his coffin to see what's inside all he can say is no the smell is like some sick ancient thing breathing in his face it's him and he doesn't know who he is as he holds his body what am I he says what have you done to me so back to Jason Wynn, their work is accomplished and they tell him the elements of fire of heaven burns within you. You are no longer living, no longer human. Rise up, be born again, soldier. You're the soldier of the light. You are the anti-spawn. And that is the end of this issue. Yo, this is a key issue because I believe this is the first appearance of Redeemer, the anti-spawn. So for those of you that are key issue collectors and like to add key issues to your combo collection, you can't go wrong with this one. Also, link in description if you wish to add any of our other comic books or some of our rated comics exclusives to your comic book collection. I thought the issue was pretty good. I thought I was fine. Could I think it could have been better? Of course, of course. But you know what? Hey, we got to just keep pushing and shoving because it's spawn, baby. That's what we do around here. Lastly, this review is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thinks because I do these reviews early in the morning before my kids go to school. But the greatest compliment you can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.